everyone, it's Ginger here. Welcome back to another painting episode and I am going to be testing potential grounds to create tooth onto cardstock to make pastel paper or at least make, in this case, card that I can use um, for pastel work that has enough tooth that I can at least get down a few layers. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark out two rectangles on this piece of paper or well, card it's a 250 gram Canson mixed media toned cardstock it's really thick it's got I'm not going to say a smooth texture but it's got a little bit of texture which is helping and what I'm going to do is just mark out these rectangles and we will then apply both of our two mediums now we have two that we're going to be testing today. Um, we have a Liquitex and a Dalaroni. I got these from a local art store in Perth here in Scotland which is um, the Greyfriars uh, Dunn's art store. It's a gorgeous little shop, absolutely gorgeous. I could spend a fortune in there. Um, however, I don't have a fortune to spend. I always recommend supporting your local art store if you get the opportunity to do so. Um, the sad case of the fact is, in this case, this art store is closing down. Um, and they do. the company does have another two art stores that I'm aware of, both in Edinburgh, I think. Um, the original Greyfriars, anyway. So, they're, they're stunning little shops. I'm going to miss it greatly. Now, what we're going to try, um, we're going to do on the left hand square is the Liquitex. Um, I really should remember to shake it first before I pour because otherwise it's just going to be a little bit soupy. Here's the details on the front of the bottle. So it's Liquitex Professional Acrylic Mediums Gesso. Prime surfaces, adds tooth. Um, this has a very smooth tooth to it. So it, when you paint it on it doesn't look like you're, you've got tooth but um, once it's dry you can feel it it feels like very very smooth sanded paper a bit like the art spectrum um, doesn't take much to cover this as you can see I've only put a small blob on so I'm kind of I'm not really in a massive amount to put tons of this down also because the counts and paper is um, mixed media it does absorb it a little bit so that does make it a little bit harder to put on but it feels super smooth which is weird when you think it's a medium that has tooth which you're applying to the card to provide tooth but actually it feels like just trying to think what that actually feels like it kind of feels like you're painting with a cross between thick bodied acrylic paint and school style PVA glue um, it also smells a bit like PVA glue. Does anybody else think that gesso smells like PVA glue? I think it smells like PVA glue. Um, but being an acrylic medium, it, feel, it just has that silkiness. I actually don't know if that's maybe something to do with Liquitex. I tend to find if I'm using any of their acrylic, med acrylic paints or mediums um, that it kind of does that. It kind of feels very silky smooth when it goes down. So, that's the Liquitex, I'm just going to add a little bit more here because I've got a bit of a gap going on. Um, the details on the, box, on the bottle says, Prime Services adds tooth, gives an opaque matte white finish. Now that's what I forgot to say. Um, this is matte, obviously for pastel, I wouldn't want it shiny, would I? Although actually I've never tried it with shiny, maybe we should try it with shiny. Uh, directions. Use undiluted or thin with up to 25% water. Apply to support. Sand non-porous shiny surfaces first. And leave to dry for at least 24 hours. Um, in our case, that's pretty much exactly what I did. Um, I do end up leaving it for 24 hours for both parts. So it's fully, fully dry before I actually decide to apply pastel to it. It's an interesting um, concept, yes, so, but I just want to see, can I make my own sanded, well, not sanded papers, are they, because it's not sand, but can I make my own papers with enough tooth to act like a sanded paper? 
Now I do have some sand and I may consider doing, um, trialing that at a later date maybe. That might be, that might be interesting is to see if I can add some sand. I have river sand here, which is quite fine. So actually um, it's worthwhile maybe seeing if I can have a go with that. Or maybe mixing the liquid texture so with the texture paste. Who knows? That might also provide some um, interesting entertainment for those of you that actually just wants to have a good laugh at me regardless. Um, yeah, I think it's just, I think you just need to experiment when it comes to these sorts of things. Right, cleaned my brush, important part. Now we are going to play with the Dallaroni texture paste. Um, this stuff is like, well, I think the only, th only way I can describe it is plaster of Paris crossed with acrylic paint. It's like well it's white obviously um and you'll see that when it goes down but it is like mixing plaster of paris with acrylic white paint that's the only way i can describe it and it actually smells like plaster of paris when it's wet you know that point where you get the powder and you add the water and you start mixing and then of course it puffs up in your face and you spend at least the next five minutes coughing at it well that's what it feels like and as you can see it's really super super thick it's not like gluey thick it's not sticky but like i said it is like a slightly wetter version of plaster of paris um so this is what it says i mean i know it says ideal for use with system 3 and Krylo acrylics which is the dali Royal acrylics but realistically um that's not what we're using it for. So what it does say is, builds heavy layers of texture in fine art and craft work. Directions for use, apply with a knife, stick, or stout brush to any gesso-free rigid surface. Oh, so okay, so it doesn't want me to put this on top of a gesso surface. Well, that's interesting, is it? We're looking at actually maybe mixing gesso with it to put it down. Um, maybe they won't bind together very well we shall see won't we i mean at the moment it's going on like can i explain it um it's a bit like toothpaste see if you ever drip a bit of toothpaste onto the side of the sink you need to smear it off my god does it want to stick uh, it's exactly like that it just yeah, it's it's sticking to the Canson cardstock, um, like within an inch of its life. It just does not want to come off. That does then mean it's a little more. It's well, a little more. It's considerably more difficult to spread around than the gesso, um, which is why I think maybe combining the two might be a good idea. But it is it is going on. And it is going on like very, very super thick body paint. Um, the only other problem with it is what little moisture is actually in the paste is being sucked into the cancer card very quickly. So it's drying very quickly as I'm trying to put it down, which is then causing problems. Now, as far as I'm aware, um, I don't think there's any actual grit as per se in it. Um, but I did note there is particles in it and that becomes more obvious when you start painting it across a flat surface. When I stirred it, I didn't see anything. Um, but once I start putting it down here like this, it just, yeah, you can see there I'm just flicking a larger chunk off the brush. I just, I don't know. It's weird. When it starts to dry, um, yeah, you start to see it. So, obviously, with the moisture content, it's warping the paper, but that's really not a problem. Once that dries, it will flatten back out again, so it's less of a problem. Um, so I think what we'll probably do here is we will let it dry. In my next video, I will do a short pastel painting of some beautiful cornflowers in a field on the Liquitex, and I'll use the same reference photo and then do same painting again but on the texture paste 
part of the cards. I'm going to cut them in half so that you can I can use them separately. Otherwise, it gets pretty messy with pastel dust. Um, and we'll see how it goes. I think. Yeah, it's going to be really interesting to see how much tooth does the Liquitex Gesso have versus the Dowler Rowney. And does the Dowler one have too much tooth because it's like Plaster of Paris? Or, once I apply the pastel, is that actually going to rub the tooth off more than the pastel actually adheres to the paper? That, I think, is going to be a rather interesting concept to find out. Hopefully, it's going to give me enough tooth to take the pastel, but um, we shall see, I think. Right, so I'm going to leave it there for this, let this dry, and then hopefully you guys will all join me again as we continue this experimentation and we will do a painting with both pieces. And we'll see how it goes. Yeah, it does feel a little, it feels smooth-ish. Ish. That side, no, still wet. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's let this dry. I will see you all again soon.